I about last night? Oh my god, this is so many likes. I'm so proud of Michael, man. I'm so proud. Da Vinci surgical system is the most advanced streamlined <laughs> surgical experience for minimally invasive surgery available surgery in the world on a today. I can build that. <laughs> hey, how's everyone's global health crisis going? My house is... Wait, is it quiet? Oh, it was quiet. It's on full goddamn quarantine, and I'll probably be dead in a week anyway. Not from the virus, like like a electrocution accident or something. It's actually giving me a lot of free time, and what better way to spend free time right now than to help the medical industry? Now, I can't do any chemistry or biology or like body stuff, yuck, but I can do <laughs> robotics. And let me tell you, those Da Vinci surgery robotics rat <laughs> bastards are really- Yo, tell me that doesn't look like a, the anime mouse pad. Chemistry or biology. I've or always like kind of wanted one yuck, of those that are robotics. usually let like- me tell you those da vinci surgery robotics you know um i think they're usually anime boobies you know the ones that pop out kind of like this frogman oh well donated six. and it like it like this oh, stop Oh, well. The world does need to know my mind is this Rat rated? bastards are ripping hospitals off. Look at this. Two million dollars for one <laughs> shitty robot. They can spend that on a couple hundred bandages or like one ambulance ride in the US. We can build a better surgery robot for a lot. <laughs> a bandage. I remember my friend got a cut and she went to like get it checked out and get it. I, I think they put like a bandage on it. And I don't know. And it was approximately three million dollars. Lot less. Come on, the biggest. I'm not gonna make my bed. Flaw in Da Vinci's design is that it relies on these clunky, slow <laughs> robotic arms for movement. Say you're operating on a patient's foot, he starts screaming out in pain. You gotta get up to his face, smack him around a little bit, make him shut up. <laughs> Good fucking luck with these robotic arms. They're slow as shit and they don't have any travel distance. Instead, we're gonna mount the surgical tools to a rail system that can move anywhere on the operating table. Hey, look, it's past Michael. You know, it took him five whole days to 3D model and build one rail carriage. What a dipshit. Hey man, shut the fuck up. This shit's hard. Make me a little bitch. I'm the narrator. I'm like, God, you can't kill me. Here's what the final <laughs> carriage looks like. You see, it uses wheel bearings to travel up and down the slots. See, and this five is days to make this a part of it. And to make it move. No, you're stupid, and I hate you. For power, we're using a brushless Aww. DC motor and an O drive. He sounds just like he does at like home. a brushless servo motor. Do I know what that means? <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. I've never done this before. What I do know is someone told <laughs> my voice crack. <laughs> what I do know is someone no, told me this would be fast and very accurate. And all you have to do to put it in is. It's Michael Reese time. Whoosh. I forgot to record all the sound effects, okay? Give me a fucking... <laughs> I got the motor very professionally hooked up to the driver board, which is hooked up to my computer, so we can see what this thing can do. Okay, so this is the, like, calibration sequence. It needs to mm -hmm. do this before it actually runs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so fucking sick! <laughs> oh, I think it, it should be a little faster, though. Uh... Okay, I love how he's, like, so edgy 24 7 actually let's say 23 7 and then that one hour of the day is when he's just like so fucking excited that something works like i'm so glad he included that because <laughs> like, like calibration oh my god this is so cool <laughs> oh that's so fucking sick ah, that's so cute <laughs> i love seeing that because sometimes i'll like have random stuff to be like look at this it's so cool it does this thing i remember him showing me the, the hand simulator thing that's later on in this video. You know, it's so fucking weird. And he's like, yeah, but I just got it like pretty cheap off of Amazon. It's so amazing. Like, nice. No, I think it, it should be a little <laughs> People faster. clap. Uh, Robot okay. do cool stuff. So you can just turn People those clap. Right exactly. <laughs> ah, oh, no, fuck. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Or great. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's fast. Give me one second. Okay, you just stand. Stand right there. Whoa, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta put a few of these together and it looks like this. I did the quirky little snap teleportation thing, right? Oh, daddy. I'm fucking tired. But I built this test platform out of <laughs> yeah. aluminum and wood that I stole from my girlfriend's bed frame. <laughs> 
It's not like I can go to Home Depot and quarantine. This is a prototype so I can write and test the software before I build the actual thing, but even the prototype is pretty cool. It's the same idea with the motor carriage on the X axis, but now I have two additional motors on the Y axis. Allergies give me like asthma. I need to turn my humidifier on. Operate. But if you write some software that can talk to all the motors, you can make it do pretty much anything you want. This is the homing sequence. It figure out the bounds of the machine by measuring the amperage <laughs> of the of the motor, of the motors when they stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can make it. You can make grab it onto the Maybe thing. Maybe not as stable as you'd want it to be, but yeah, it's just a prototype. <laughs> so Respect. stupid. So I'm controlling it with my mouse right now. It looks jerky and awful, but it's actually got a really good amount of precision to it. It's kind of going in a circle from the top down. His editing game's on fucking point. On view. Like I said, this is not the final surgery robot. It's gonna be much more refined, much more medical looking, you know, much more safe for the user. And all that movement was controlled by the code I wrote. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show it. I know everyone thinks it's boring, so we- I don't give a <laughs> shit what you think. Look at this dynamic uh, bounds detection routine that's fucking sick. Here's a limit switch. You can put it here to detect the bounds of your machine. Yeah, fuck Stop that Stop making me switch. laugh, my queen. Instead, write some code that steps the motor forward until it starts using a lot of power. Then you know you hit the edge of the rail. And then you know exactly where you are in relation to the bounce of the machine it's fucking sick look how cool the code part is guys i'm gonna keep going this part applies the scaling factors that are calculated as a function of the input but michael i hear you ask so you can move the carriage over any part of the operating table you want great but how are you going to move the medical tools take it he still has that patient? bleached piece of hair well, that's where the carriage utility mechanism comes into play that's the thing that's going to move mm. the scalpel or the clamp or whatever up and down which is great there's just a small come always has well, to be I involved it. i built it which is a good thing my original plan was you know just to have a thin piece of plastic with a motor attached to it that moves a plate easy but then i fucking i saw that thing <laughs> Okay, there's no way that's gonna survive, so I gotta make it a little strong. You know, I may as well make it go a little faster. Yeah. You know, I got a little carried away. Now it looks like a time bomb and it weighs 10 fucking pounds. Dude, it that's works great. Insane. The motor precisely moves the mounting plate <laughs> up and down wherever you want it to go. The thing is, I just don't know if those motors can handle 10 pounds, so we're gonna have to do a little test. Michael, why don't you just use the carriage utility mechanism to test it out? Well, it took me a long time to build and it's fucking beautiful, so cry more. It looks like it's handling yeah. small movements pretty well. Y axis axis. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay. Oh, it's fine. It'll be fine. We can probably just go ahead and make the final version. And it looks like this. I did the stupid hand thing again. It's been three more weeks. I have severe depression. But Michael, where's the surgery robot? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, big reveal. This is the surgery robot. Massive. Wow. You, amazing. Have, behold the superior surgery robot, you Da Vinci shit. Dude, this is actually it's insane. It's got, management. it's got the super fucking hard to reach driver boards. I don't know why I put them under here. I thought it would look cool. But Michael. Does it even work? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? I don't know if it works. I haven't turned it on yet. <laughs> I've been too afraid since it took me so long to build, so I turned the camera on so you can at least see my tears when it tears itself apart. I'm worried about this. This is why he belongs in our house. He knows everything is content. When it works, and the disappointment if it doesn't work, it's content either way. Because when I built it, I went ooga booga caveman brain, metal strong, metal not strong, metal more like McDonald's play place trampoline. But you gotta take chances when you're innovating on the next great thing. So I'm gonna end in on. quarantine. Oh god, oh please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Please don't break it. Yeah! Are the Dude, that actually working? looks now we can pretty damn sturdy. But Michael, where's the controller? <laughs> Fuck you, you are the controller. I got this VR hand tracking camera off of Amazon that works super goddamn well. <laughs> so you just take the hand coordinates from this, pipe them in the He's had this for a minute. Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> oh, boom! Fuck you, Dimension Robotics! You can move my thing with just floating your hand around. Robot, go here. Oh, robot, do surgery. I really there. like the oh, music. Bleeding there. Oh, do surgery there. Yeah. On that part. Which is exactly what happened. Over here. Now do surgery over there. And now do surgery. Fuck you, Da Vinci. You shitty robot can't do that. You need to squeeze those little metal robot teeth to do yours. Oh shit, before I sell my design to surgeons across the nation, we have to attach some surgical tools to the cum, because otherwise it's just a big ass robot. So let's buy a scalpel mm -hmm. on Amazon. Wow, mm -hmm. that is just unacceptable. Scalpels are gonna take a whole three days. Wow, that's pretty reasonable. Fuck no, that's messed up. Dang global health crisis. That's far too long. If only I had an alternative. When you really think about it, scalpels are just shitty, smaller knives. So why don't we just use bigger, better knives? Like, uh, hello, we already have those. Wake up. You know, I think this is like our only good knife, by the way. We have like no, I know that's very off topic. I'm just saying, we could use some knives. 
We have a P.O. box. <laughs> People. Are you Lily has started cooking, so we technology. just have one night. Are you looking for the cutting edge in power, precision, and usability? Look no further. The future of surgical robotics is here. <laughs> Look at your fucking knife! Unlike some other surgical systems, does this systems, not we've look run a gamut of tests to ensure frightening. our machine has power. I'm gonna stab a pineapple. With oh, fuck. Commencing the operation. <laughs> Operate on it. Surgery <laughs> over here now. Um, patient. Small incision. Uh, small incision. I can't get that image out of my head of the, the knife. Patient. But power isn't the only thing we strive for. <laughs> Precision is an essential tenet of surgery, and we make no exceptions. The fucking for stock for photo. Accuracy. What the fuck is that? Hey, video. The stock video. No, Lily, come on, please. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, fuck. Draw the Mona Lisa. Draw the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I got the paint. I got the paint. Eyes. That's a little racist looking. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't you guys think this kind of looks like Temmy? Wait. <laughs> Do you see it? It kind of looked like Temmy and then an ear. Huh? Do you see it? Like the little eyes, the nose, the pink little mouth. It's like Lily always subconsciously draws Temmy. I know you see it. <laughs> I'm not gonna pressure you, but this is supposed to show how accurate my machine is. <laughs> It'll reduce the water. <laughs> Let's see a Da Vinci try to do that. You might be wondering, is the system <laughs> FDA approved? <laughs> but don't just take our word for it. Here's what a real medical professional has to say about this innovative new technology. We're gonna go for like a laparoscopic appendectomy. So if we just make a small incision above the chest here, uh, we can, okay. uh, a little bit more difficult for some procedures, but not. I just wish I knew where the heck he found this guy. Controlled in a lot of surgical systems. Fuck oh, off. So like I was saying, moving the patient <laughs> is a lot easier with the system. Like normally you'd have to manually move them. Would, be, uh, would you add this to your hospital? Do you think hospitals could adopt? I love uh, that. Okay. That's I probably my favorite clip on the, the internet. Feedback. You're wrong. <laughs> Last but not least, we've made our machine so intuitive that anyone can do surgery with no prior training. So you've never seen this machine before in your life. No. This is perfect because this study is to see <laughs> if we can bring someone from zero skill level all the way up to the ability of a What you trying to say about me, Michael? Huh? Not too close because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand out. <laughs> Could you just put your hand out above the thing? <laughs> so higher up controls the knife. <laughs> Okay, can I just say, when I came in... <coughs> so there's a, be a, a blood bag thingy here, right? I came in and I was like, is that coke? No, that looks like blood. No, nah, that's not blood. That's coke, right? And he goes, uh, oh, oh, it's blood. Okay, so I was so fixated on this big bag of blood that had tubes coming out of it and stuff. I did not see the knife behind the monitor. So, right in front of not too close. This was my genuine reaction. I about lost my shit. Because, like, you know, there's these parameters, nice, but if there wasn't, dead. I'm just dead. My wrists, an arm, gone. Gaming, no more. Career, already kind of non existent, but now further non existent. Probably the scariest moment of my life. But I'm glad that it was for contest. <laughs> Could you just put your hand out above the thing? <laughs> so, higher up controls the knife position. You can move it further closer and it'll get further away from you. We're gonna make a small incision right above the ear. <laughs> so, there's some mistakes, there's some mistakes. Okay, so you're doing it wrong. Okay, so. Clearly, well, fuck. Oh, cut. you're clearly doing another incision to stop. Plug the hole with the knife. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Nice. Yeah, you're perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this, what's, <laughs> it's okay. No, it's fine. It's, it's learning. It's a learning experience. Try and retract the knife from the head. So let's, let's just try and get it out of the... Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good incision. Nice, thank you. If your patient's... I felt so bad because he was like doing this and he had been doing it for a while. Also, I think it's fine. Fed watched this on his video. And he had been doing this for a while. And then 
I felt bad because I was like, I want to help him with the blood because it was going everywhere. And then I tried and the thing has so much range. The little hand thing has so much range. <laughs> and when I tried to help him with the blood, I just yeeted the knife the other way. But thank God that's the doll side and it wouldn't have done anything. Regardless, freaking okay, frightening. Ah, that the part. Over here, and you don't want him to be over there. I'm like, I'm so here. sorry. Easy surgery over here. Move him back. I don't even know what surgery. It's like it's ah yes. Thank you for watching. That concludes research and development <laughs> for my surgical system. If you're a hospital looking to try it out, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, and maybe, just maybe, I'll let you borrow it for a bit. Rem Fed did not get banned for this. Remember, he got stay banned in school, for something else. Smoke crack. Fuck you, Da Vinci robots. Bye. And then unbanned.